Hey golfers, Erica Larkin here. I've got a tempo cue that I want you to try for me that should help you sync up your swing and jive with the idea that we want to let the mechanics of our arms and wrists play out naturally in our swing without manipulating. Are you ready? It's very simple. Repeat after me. One and two. It's that simple, I promise, really. You can just simply count to two with a little and in between, and this is gonna do the trick for you to sync up your swing. One and two. Adding that little and at the top does a few things. It helps you find a smoother transition because you have time to get to your left side without rushing back down to meet up with the ball to please a metronome, okay? And I want you to feel as though that little syncopation is also the moment where you feel what I call the tipping point. Those wrists are gently tipping over up here at the top. The shaft is getting up behind your head so you're not cutting off your backswing in a rush to get back down to the ball. I promise, I'm not trying to be cheeky. It really can be this simple. Here we go. One and two. You see that? Regular pace now. One and two. One and two. I want you to blend the movements together so there's not any sharp moments in your swing. The most speed that's gonna happen is through impact and you don't need to force that because if you do things in the right order, naturally that's when the release is gonna happen. Let your wrist just respond to the tempo and to your body motion and don't anticipate the count. One and two. Naturally, when I come down on two, my body is pivoting and then my hands release in that order. There really is a bit of a rhythm and syncopation to the flow of this. So whether you say it out loud or just count it in your head, having that baseline rhythm that you can go back to when you're feeling a little bit off will help you find it again. You know what we're talking about. Find it, right? We're all on the search for it. We wanna to try to get there as often as possible and as many times as we can from round to round. So that's your weekly tip, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Something simple to take with you to the range and the golf course. For more weekly tips, follow and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week here. Happy practicing, you guys.